So in the video I'm about to show you, I've literally chopped off my forehead. Now, that isn't because I'm receding or anything like that. It's just that when I filmed it, I messed up the camera angle. Normally I'd reshoot it. However, I thought the video is good, so I wanted to keep it for you guys and share it with you. So forgive my camera skills. I will make it better next time. Enjoy the video, catch you soon. It comes to people building out a diet or looking where they should do for the diet and to try and lose weight and get fitter, build muscle. Um, what I see a lot of the time is people try and like pick up a system. So this is why like diets per se are so popular, whether it's keto, whether it's vegan, whether it's like Weight Watchers, whatever you've done before, whatever you think might work for you or whatever. And like, the big problem that I have with diet is it's what actually holds you back. Now, like I've never been against anyone ever getting results in health and fitness. For a long time, I often argue with people that like, I'm like, I almost don't care what kind of foods people are eating. If you get on some kind of diet, whether it be restrictive or not, and that makes you go from say 15 stone to 14 stone, you look at all the health pandemics that we've had, all like heart disease, cardiovascular disease, it all links back to generally, if you are leaner, if you have less body fat, then you are healthier. A very general sweeping statement, but it is true. And if you have some kind of diet that you can stick to, that you can do, that you go, oh, do you know what? That's helped me lose two stone or whatever. But the problem is with the majority of diets is they're too restrictive. They pin you down too much. They don't allow for like life or whatever. So like, for instance, when I did the keto diet, when I tried it, I was like, okay, so I'll do this. So I'm gonna eat more fat. I'm gonna eat no carbs, blah, blah, blah. Cause that's the miracle of weight loss. Cause I've tried all of these by the way. And then I found like, I like having a beer at the weekend. So how is that meant to have a beer and keep up with ketosis? It like wouldn't work. So that put me straight out of kilter straight away. Or how could you have anything that you enjoyed? Now I'm not slagging off keto here, but like that was the problem with that diet. So for me, I was never gonna be able to do that diet for two months, three months, two years, whatever it might be. And this is where it brought me back to, to like this point and where I am now with people. So say we've got like Jeff and Jeff is here, okay? And Jeff wants to get really fit and healthy, which is here, all right? Now in the middle of this bit here, we have all your different diets and all your different training systems, okay? Now, the reason I bang on about getting in a calorie deficit so much and hitting your protein and then sleep and like the simple things and keeping the basics, because these are the principles that make this diet work, okay? So whether it's vegan, whether it's fasting, whether it's whatever, the principles that make the diet work are the same thing for every diet. The diet just has different rules which you abide by, which if you like them, you'll have success with. If you don't, you'll ditch it after about two days, okay? The same is with training. Really with training, whether we're doing cardio, whether we're doing strength training, whether we're doing power training, I still hold my hand out like this. Um, it doesn't matter. It depends what you like and what your goals are. Like if you wanna build muscle, then you shouldn't really be doing loads of cardio. Yeah, if you want to burn fat the quickest, then you know, like it, there's certain things that you should be doing better than others. But really the main principle with training is the principle of overload and always being able to do more of a time and progress so that you become leaner, become healthier, become fitter. So if, as long as we stick to these principles, right, then we're going to be in the goal here with our result. So the real key is we've got Jeff, we've got his result. And in the middle here, we've got our principles of diet and training and lifestyle. What I do with my clients and what I like encourage you to do is instead of like trying to find a system that works for you, right, that is CrossFit or keto or whatever it is, that you build your own training system, your own diet system, your own way, your own sort of like morals and what works for you and your lifestyle because truly that's the only way you're gonna get long-term success is by building this system off the principles that we know get results and building that to you. If you're still trying to copy what other people do, and that is all diet and training systems are, it's just stuff that's worked for other people, okay? You're just copying someone else. And what you really wanna do is you wanna make like the Jeff diet, you wanna make the Jeff fitness plan, and then you wanna bolt it all in here with some principles that you know that work so that that gives you long-term sustainable results and it stops you yo-yoing, it stops you looking back and it stops you thinking, oh my God, like, I'm never going to get anywhere.
So I'd love to hear some comments on what you think about this below. But also if that's something that you think, oh, do you know what, like that resonates with me, I want to build my own plan, I need help like that, just drop me a comment in the box below because in all my 15 years of training, um, like training people and doing stuff, genuinely the only people who have got long-term results are people who have built a plan that works for them, they've stopped copying other people's diets, they've stopped doing it, they've built a plan off the principles and then they've executed it because it works for them. Anyway, guys, I hope that helps. I hope that gives you a bit of clarity about what you need to try and do to start getting results in your health and fitness. And I'll catch you soon.